He just goes and say, hey, there you go. This is Lynn Pender with Christian Authors on Tour, and I am so excited because I have two powerful men of God here with me today, and they are no strangers to Christian <laughs> Authors on Tour. I think by far you all have been around with us, probably the longest of all of the authors, but just so that you all, uh, our audience today, will know who we have in the house, it is none other than Leroy McKenzie Jr. and Pastor Kevin Wayne Johnson. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. So we actually live today. I know. Like, this is so different. Can I tell you, I wasn't quite. The Bible says, be ye <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm so excited and I'm so honored uh, to have had the opportunity, probably now it's almost 10 years, right, to um, share the Word of God through Christian books and have the opportunity to use writing as a tool of Christian ministry and, and, and to go on that journey with the two of you and, and the other authors who are part of Christian Authors on Tour. We are preparing for our 2019 multi-state Christian book tour, which is coming up in 2019. And so this year in 2018, it's a year of planning, of retreat and preparation. And we're doing uh, two literary events that's gonna help kind of raise awareness about the 2019 multi-state book tour, but also give an opportunity for some of our current Christian authors to showcase their writing ministries. And we have something that's coming up called <laughs> The Responsibility of Leadership Literary Form. It's featuring the men of Christian Authors on Tour. The two of you are two of nine Christian male authors that will be featured uh, April 15th, 2018. It's right around the corner yeah. at the Quality Inn, 1806 Belmont Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21244. It's a free event and um, it's that Sunday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And so we want everyone to come out. But I want each of you to kind of talk a little bit about uh, the significance of this particular event. And then we'll move on from there. Okay. okay. All right. So I'll kick it off. Uh, one of the significant things about this particular event is that men have a chance to come together. Yeah. Uh, we have some fellowship, <laughs> some open dialogue, discussion, conversations. Because when the men get together, not only does the word teach us that iron sharpen iron, but we have a tendency to feel free to say some things yes. uh, that we wouldn't <laughs> say in a mixed audience, uh, which, which are appropriate for men. Because yes. we're growing together, we're learning together, uh, we're developing together, and we're becoming better husbands, fathers, um, sons, community leaders, bosses in the workplace, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, that's going to be wonderful. But the other thing that we have an opportunity to talk about is leadership in general, right? And yes. one thing that I've learned over the years, having been a leader for now almost uh, a quarter of a century in the workplace as well as in the church, uh, and as an author, is that we have to step it up an ante uh, and take the time to value people more. Yes. Because when it's all said and done, that's really what leadership is all about. Absolutely. Uh, when we value people and when people feel valued mm -hmm. and their voice can be heard, they'll be more apt to follow you. Gotcha. And uh, you, you can't lead if you look behind and nobody's, nobody's following you. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't really work that way. And so we have a chance to have some conversations about that. Because at the end of the day, we all grew up in different communities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of us grew up in a two-parent household, mm -hmm. some in a one-parent household. Uh, we have different levels of education. Yes. Uh, we have different jobs, different gifts that we all bring to the table. But when it's all said and done, uh, God is teaching us how to be great leaders. Yes. And we can do that by helping each other out. So from those two perspectives, I'm super excited, not to mention the food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let me put that point in. We have Donnie Del Rio, and um, she is a caterer with Virtuous Caterers. And uh -huh. she did our event back in December, and the uh -huh. food was phenomenal. Yes. And so she has something for everyone, for vegetarians, even the vegans, and those like me that like to eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> she has something for everyone and the food is good and it's affordable and so we want you to come out April 15th to this literary event and just enjoy the moment it's an opportunity to connect
connect with the authors. Um, um, it's an opportunity to, to buy Christian books, but it's also an opportunity to have that dialogue. And I think that's what's most important. And you're Pastor Johnson, you are leading the panel discussion that yes. we're going to have with the participating authors, and so we're really looking forward to that. And thank you so much for the opportunity. And and, and as the moderator, I just want to bring out in all of the men uh, what's on their heart yes. as we talk about being better leaders, because there's a lot of different avenues to that. Um, and this young man sitting right next to me has actually written a book on the art of leadership and has a lot of subject matter expertise to bring to bear, and we look forward to hearing that. And it's at uh, this event. It, I, I call certain events throughout the year um, the my my be in the room yes. events, <laughs> where where you have to be. You you like no matter what else is going on. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that's on your calendar. Yes. Uh, and if you are a a man and you are a leader. Mm -hmm and are aspiring to be want to learn about leadership because this is not about just about older men or being in leadership this is about young men becoming leaders because yes. we're gonna we want to pour into that next generation yes. of leaders that's coming on so it's important that they understand that they bring bring your bring your nephews bring your bring, <laughs> bring your uncles all of them to this event yes. because we want them to be in the room and, and to understand uh, not only like Pastor John uh, said about um, about leadership understanding leadership but the um, being in the, there's nothing like being in the room with other men. Absolutely. It's a, it's a totally different atmosphere. We love we love the women. <laughs> we love you all, but there's a different atmosphere. There's yes. a different tone when you get men that come together that are on that have the same vision, yes. have a mission, have a purpose, mm -hmm. and they come in and and they not only come with a purpose, mm -hmm. but they leave out with it with direction. Yes. They leave out with something to be able to march towards. Kind of say marching orders. Mm -hmm. What we need to do uh, to be better leaders, to be better fathers, better sons, better uncles, yes. uh, better better bosses, entrepreneurs, all of those things, and mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to be talking about uh, in uh, at the event here, uh, the panel, um, just amongst ourselves, networking, and just because, you, like, like Pastor Johnson said, we have different backgrounds. Yes. So understanding um, what one brother may may have that may teach mm -hmm. you something, and then what you may be able to teach another brother something. It's 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 strong. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and we have such a dynamic mix of male authors. Um, besides the two of you, um, you all are local here to the. DMV area but we have some authors who are coming from out of town mm -hmm. we have Carl Sharpinson jr. he's coming up from South Carolina uh -huh. we have Johnny Mobley jr. he's coming up from the Hilton Head Savannah Georgia area we have Reginald Foreman I think he's coming from Virginia, Virginia Richmond we yep. have Lewis McCall. He's a hometown guy. He's also <laughs> in this DMV area. We have Maurice M. Gray Jr. who's coming down from Delaware. And then we have Stephen uh, Music Man Turner out of Baltimore. <laughs> and so we're really excited. And uh, can, last but not least, we have Dominique Brightman who's also from this DMV area. And so we have nine powerful men of God. And so I'm excited. You know, I, I think all of you should be excited too. And so you definitely want to come out because you have such a mix. You have your seasoned um, authors as well as a few new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, we have at least, I think we have at least one millennial in here in our group. Yeah, I think pretty we have at good. least one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a good mix of, you know, just in terms of age. And, you know, and so I want, you know, to just piggyback on what you said, Leroy, in terms of, you know, invite everybody your fathers your grandfathers your brothers your uncles your cousins your husbands your, your boyfriends because uh -huh. you know women we always know how to you know put the put the pressure on and say you need to go to this so exactly. we know somebody that really needs to come to this and so we, yeah, we, we, we really need to get that pressure say hey you need to be there and so just in case my women authors just in case you're saying well hey what about us I haven't forgotten about our lady authors we're right, having right. a women of Christian authors on tour literary event in October <laughs> and but this is for the men <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> this is for the men. <laughs> but we're really, really excited. And so I just want the two of you to kind of talk briefly um, about your books. 
and uh, just share a little bit about um, each of you have your own publishing companies and just talk a little bit about that so you know our, our audience can have some feedback. Well I, I know with mine um, uh, as we mentioned the one of the books that I have there that deals with actually leadership is the Auto Leadership Success Strategies for the 21st Century Leader. Uh, it actually focuses on uh, leadership <laughs> from um, from five different perspectives, mm -hmm. um, it focuses on leadership from the um, from the family, okay. from uh, from education, mm -hmm. from government, business, and the church, okay. and being a leader in those particular areas or mm -hmm. all of them, because you have some that might be in all of those scopes. But yes. in, in some part of your life, you, you're touched by that, whether it's family, government, mm -hmm. education, business, or the church. There's one of those ways that has to deal with leadership in some kind of way. Okay. So I deal with um, strategies that, that we need to have or should have in order to be able to be a successful leader. Okay. Um, and it, it starts from the premise of understanding what leadership is because mm -hmm. many of us don't even know what, leader, what leadership is or yeah. what even le leadership looks like, mm -hmm. especially in this day and time that we're in. We, we have to really go back to the basics and the foundation of what leadership is yes. and and build you know not only ourselves but those who are coming behind us mm -hmm. um, with that so I deal with uh, in the book I deal with leadership from those perspectives mm -hmm. um, and, and just talking about what it is uh, that you how you can be a successful leader yes. those strategies that you need to put in place or have in place mm -hmm. um, to make you be successful all right, all right. Okay. Awesome. Leroy is awesome. <laughs> and I'm, I'm in the midst of transitioning, so uh, I've just recently retired 34 years of total service from the federal government. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And my last position was as a chief of staff with the Department of Defense. And as a chief of staff, okay. I had a chance to bring together a lot of different career fields and a lot of different disciplines into one and sort of oversee as a leader. So training, visits and protocol, mm -hmm. budget, mm -hmm. finance, acquisition, procurement. I mean, just a, about 20 or 30 different areas that a chief of staff is responsible for wow. yes. and managing people as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm transitioning now that I've retired from my eight book series, Give God the Glory, which I authored over a 16 year period um, and, and was very, very blessed in that, in that endeavor. Had a chance to travel the world, uh, the books earned ni uh, 19 literary awards, uh, translated yes. into eight languages. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm retired, I have a I have the same passion that Moses had when he gave the baton to Joshua. Mm -hmm. yes. right, it's time to pass the baton to the next generation, which also includes my sons, 21, 20, and 22. The baby boy is actually 20 years old today. Wow! <laughs> and uh, helping them to understand what it means to to be a leader. So even yes. at, even as we're doing this show, um, my literary agent is negotiating with publishers mm -hmm. across the U.S as we transition to a five book series on leadership yes. wow. uh, and as a John Maxwell team certified trainer and speaker and coach and mentor um, not only will I be applying some of his principles mm -hmm. but some of my own principles from a personal perspective yes. on what it takes to lead others again you, you can't call yourself a leader if you turn around <laughs> and, and, and there's nobody following you <laughs> you're just taking a walk as well. right. <laughs> and, and what's core really what's core <laughs> in leadership <laughs> is uh, just being able to make people feel that they count. Mm. Absolutely. You value them. You listen to them. Um, you want them to be the best that they can be because when you develop that relationship, mm -hmm. then people will get the work done. Yes. They'll get yes. the task done because yes. it's relationship related more so than being a taskmaster. Mm -hmm. And we want to have that conversation with the men. Yes. And I want to have that conversation with people all over the country and that's why this next book series Leadership with a servant's heart yes. uh, will be coming out very, very shortly as soon as we, we are able to put the ink to the contract and, and, and get that phase going as well. So we bring all this together. Mm -hmm. We're going to kick it off on the 15th of April to have this conversation with these men. But more importantly, we're looking forward, Leon and Le uh, Leroy and I and others, really helping men and women, boys and girls, current generation, next generation, yes. understanding. Because we're, we're, we're sort of in a crisis right now. Mm. Yes, if, you look, if you look around our country, mm. yes, we, uh, you, we don't have very many good <laughs> leaders. <laughs> we we yes. just don't. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. And uh, you may be thinking it and may not want to say it, but I'll just say it. We don't have very many good leaders out here. Mm. And so whatever we can do, however we can avail ourselves yes. to help others Absolutely. understand how significantly important it is, mm -hmm. that's what we're looking to do. 
absolutely. Hold up that card there so that everyone yes. can see that. Yes. <laughs> so this is, this is the transition from the Give God the Glory series uh, into the new series, uh, Leadership with a Servant Heart. Uh, I'm represented by the Heartline Literary Agency out of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, and even as we're talking right now, they're out there uh, rocking and rolling, negotiating on my behalf with some of these major publishers. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing that come to fruition real, real soon. Awesome. Give your website information and then you give yours okay. as well. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm easy to find. Uh, <laughs> KevinWayneJohnson.com. Uh, we, want, we want to keep it simple. And the email is Kevin at KevinWayneJohnson.com. We want to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's one of the many tips that we give to our authors. Please have a, have a reasonably <laughs> named website and, and have an email address with fewer than 16 syllables. <laughs> Because you, you want to be easy Please. to reach. I, I've, I've, gotten, I've gotten business cards from too many people yeah. that either has no contact information on yeah. it at all, or it takes like a year <laughs> to type in your email address. Don't make it difficult so for people true. to reach you. Yeah. And, and this, this is part of the wisdom that we pass along based upon what we've done and what we've learned. Because... It's definitely doable. There's nothing to say that what we do is easy, and we realize right. that, but it's definitely doable. Yes. And we have a passion to avail ourselves to work with everybody uh, to understand what that's all about. So KevinWayneJohnson.com or Kevin at KevinWayneJohnson.com. And my email address uh, is JNF, and that's J as in Jesus, N as in never, F as in fail, Jesus never fails, Aunt Enterprises, at um, dot com, real easy. J N F Enterprises dot com, uh, and email is J N F Enterprises at yahoo dot com. On social media, on all of the social media outlets, J N F Enterprises. You put that in, it'll and it'll come up. Um, it, it's it's very it's very simple. Like Pastor Johnson said, yes. that you keep it simple, so that people are able to be able to find you yes. easily, quickly, and it's something that resonates with them. That makes Absolutely. that makes it easy to be able to remember. Absolutely. And for more information regarding these authors, as well as the other seven authors that will be participating in the Responsibility of Leadership Literary Forum on April 15th, you can visit www.ChristianAuthorsOnTour.com. That's www.ChristianAuthorsOnTour.com. If you're not an internet person and you're like, I want a telephone, well, 800-929-1418. That's 800-929-1418. When you go to the website, you will be able to click on a variety of tabs. You'll get some information. Um, the products and services tab mm -hmm. will give you a list of we're, we're close to almost 100 authors um, that mm -hmm. have been participating with Christian Authors on Tour since 2008. Mm -hmm. We are a network, a group of men and women who are on fire for God and committed to using writing as a tool for Christian ministry. Mm -hmm. So, and we come from all parts of the United States, and hopefully one day soon I'll be able to say all parts of the globe. The globe, yeah. you know? absolutely. <laughs> but right now we pretty much represent um, a, a good number of states throughout um, these United States. And we're really excited about the work that God has been doing with us. We also have a blog talk radio show, and you can um, get a link from that www.christianauthorsontour.com site to the blog talk radio show, and we air every Friday live. Um, well, not every Friday. It's the first Friday, the third Friday, and the fifth Friday of every month, and we spot like different authors from, now that I can say around the world, that are using writing yeah. as a tool yeah. for Christian ministry and we're really excited we do a number of ventures we have a 2018 photo wall calendar yes. and our spotlight for this month of April is a Christian children's book author her name is um, Yana Bright okay. and um, we, you know just visit the website you'll get a lot of information about some of the different things that we're doing and that's the other thing you know we want to put more books in the hands of people Absolutely. who need them you know of course we want to guide people the the most important book of all is the holy bible you know we definitely want to harvest souls for christ through the work that we're doing with our books mm -hmm. but our number one goal is to get people excited when they get finished reading our book it's something that kind of gets them kind of centered and kind of 
uh, directed toward that Holy Bible, that word, and really understanding the relationship that's needed to really be able to to thrive as a woman or a man of God. And so that's why we're so excited about this event coming up on April the 15th. And the foundation scripture for this particular event is Luke 12, 48. And that's the whole... Um, the theme, that whole responsibility of leadership theme comes out of that particular scripture, Luke 12, 48. And I remember when we were um, planning this event and mm -hmm. I sent out the email to a number of you with some possible scriptures. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, whichever one you kind of resonate to that you think is best, that's what we're going to run with. And the majority of you all selected this particular scripture. And so I wanted the two of you, if, if you don't mind, to just kind of speak a little bit to Luke 12, 48 and that whole idea of the responsibility of leadership mm. well I mean it, 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 simply put mm -hmm. being the example that you want to set for others mm. is what mm. it's all about and and when I looked at that particular scripture uh, I thought about my home so if I want to make the world a much better place yes if I want to make any place mm. better mm -hmm. starts at home Absolutely. Yes. And so my wife and I had three male seeds back to back to back. All of our boys are within a year of each other. <laughs> and we started from the time that they were ankle high. Mm -hmm. As their father, I needed to be the example yes. of what I wanted them to be. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I want them to be great husbands and great fathers. Mm -hmm. I want them to be great community leaders. I want them to represent our Lord, and I want them to represent the Johnson name. Absolutely. And everything they do. Yes. So it, 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 it has to begin at home. And for a follower of Christ, it begins with the example that he set for us. Mm. So he handpicked 12, and he coached them, and he taught them, and he mentored them. And equally important, he gave them an example yes. to follow. And that's what we do now in the earth realm. And so that's what that particular scripture meant to me. Now, they were all powerful, yes, and they were all equally enlightening <laughs> yes. and inspirational and motivated, motivational, but that particular one is the one that stood out because of the example that we are to set. We, yes. we can't just talk the talk. Mm -hmm. We also have to walk it as well. Absolutely. And, and just to add to that, um, the thing that resonates with me with that and the responsibility of leadership uh, are these six things about mm -hmm. the, if you look at the characteristics of a leader and, okay. and like Pastor Johnson said about Jesus himself setting the example. Yeah. This is what every leader, I believe, and I've sat with this for a while, that, that possesses. Mm -hmm. They learn, mm -hmm. they execute, they assist, mm -hmm. they develop. Mm -hmm. they empower and they get results yes mm -hmm. yes. Yep. yes those six things encompass what a leader is mm -hmm. and, and and what our ultimate leader which is Christ who left the example for us he did all those things yes he was always he learned even though he learned and he knew everything but he always <laughs> learned right. but he executed in everything that he did in yes. excellence he assisted mm -hmm. because he assisted anyone that was had an encounter with him. They mm -hmm. they were assisted every time after they left from him. Mm -hmm. They he developed. He had those twelve disciples that it, even more than twelve that he developed and taught what it was that he learned. He empowered them, charged them to go and do something. Yes. And he, it, the results speak for themselves. <laughs> yes, yes. So you have to come out and continue this dialogue and conversation with us on April the 15th. About a week and a half away, yeah, right? Just about, yeah, just over yeah. a week. The yeah. Responsibility of Leadership Literary Forum, sponsored by the Men of Christian Authors on Tour, April 15th, that's a Sunday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Belmont Quality Inn, 1806 Belmont Avenue, that's in Woodlawn, or depending on which Google yeah, map you use, it might say Windsor yeah. Mill, Maryland, <laughs> 21244. It's free admission. Come on out. Join Pastor Kevin Wayne Johnson. Join Leroy McKenzie Jr. Join Carl Sharpinson Jr., Dominique Brightman, Reginald Foreman, Maurice M. Gray Jr., Johnny Mobley Jr., Louis McCall, and 
Stephen Music Man Turner. They are going to have a powerful, powerful dialogue and we want you to be in the room with them. Now, in addition to attendees having the opportunity to meet you all and have that intimate conversation one-on-one -on -one at your vending tables, they'll have the opportunity to buy your books but they'll also have that opportunity to engage in that dialogue through the panel discussions. But we always like to be a blessing when we have events through Christian Authors on Tour. So there's also an opportunity for attendees, the, the authors as well as the audience, to sew back. And this particular event, we're asking people to bring gently used or new bow ties mm. and we are going to donate those bow ties to young men in Baltimore City and we have a particular school in mind mm -hmm. that we are looking to awesome. give the donations to but I just want to put that out there so when you come make sure you bring a nice little bow tie to mm. share with a young man in Baltimore City. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, yeah. 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 And, and that's that's an important thing about uh, young men understanding about dress, mm -hmm. you know, and and the feeling you get um, when you when you see a young man or when you have a when you are as a young man you get yes. dressed up and and everybody so you take on a different demeanor. Yes, to, absolutely, and, and mm -hmm. absolutely. And you know, given the state of Baltimore right now, yes. it's really a city in crisis, absolutely. as is absolutely. almost every yes. urban city in yeah. the United States. And yeah. you all hit on this earlier, just in terms of the lack of, you know, um, men um, stepping up no. to the plate. Not yeah. to say that they aren't men, because right. you right. are, right. the two of you are testimonies as, as t in terms of how you are allowing God to use you to be mm -hmm. able to minister to folk. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the opportunity to groom other men. Yeah. And so we need to have more conversations, more dialogues, more events like this from a number of different venues. And so this is our opportunity as Christian authors to, to, to step up to the plate and say, this is our way that we're gonna engage some conversation and we're gonna light some fires and we're gonna you know, motivate people and, and at the same time, possibly lead some folks to a better understanding of what it means to have a relationship to Christ. And so, because at the end of the day, it is about harvest, harvesting souls for Christ, right? Yep. Absolutely. 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 Yeah, and yeah. so just wanna just remind you to check out the website, www.christianauthorsontour.com. That's www.christianauthorsontour.com authorsontour.com. We also have a Facebook group page. You can check us out on Facebook. It's the Christian Authors On Tour Facebook group page. We have almost close to maybe 2,000 um, members that are part of that Facebook group page. It's very active. And you, you know, you don't have to be an author to join the Facebook group page. You just have to be someone who loves Christian books. So if you're reading a book that you want to share, you can post information about that book. Mm -hmm. Or if you have have questions if you are an inspiring author and you have questions about the publishing process you can post those questions if you are an author there is no fee to join the Christian Authors on Tour <laughs> Facebook group page you just click there you know you and we, we accept you and yes. if you want to post information about your book you can feel free to do that and we uh -huh. have individuals who do that all the time and so I, I enjoy it. it's it's a lot of activity mm -hmm. so I'm not able to kind of read each individual one but I'm just so excited that people are using that platform mm -hmm. and just want to encourage folks to do that and again if you're not a internet person and you can't visit www.christianauthorsontour.com you can give us a call at 800-929-1418 this event is produced and uh, by the men of Christian Authors on Tour a few of the men um, from Christian Authors on Tour. It's April the 15th, 2018, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's called the Responsibility of Leadership Literary Form. It's going to be at the Quality Inn, 1806 Belmont Avenue, Windsor Mill, Maryland, 21244. And for our lady authors, we have not forgotten about <laughs> you. We will have a Women of Christian Authors on Tour event in October of this year, and we are getting ready gearing up for our 2019 multi-state Christian book tour so look forward to that I'm so looking forward to that you know in years past we've had tour stops at the um, historic Harlem Book Fair mm -hmm. in Harlem New York uh, last year for the first time we went to St. Louis Missouri and we're looking forward to doing that again um, mm -hmm. next year and so just 
www.christianauthorsontour.com and do do you want to have some closing thoughts before we leave? Just my closing thought is is um, my mission I say this year is to make your end of 2018 better than the beginning of your 2018. On a mission to do that, to make your lives better. This is one of those events that will assist you in becoming better and being better. And I just want to echo what uh, what my brother Leroy said a little bit earlier. One of the core qualities and attributes of a leader uh, is a person that always has a thirst and a hunger to learn. Uh, so the more we learn, the more we can pass on to those that we aspire to follow us. Always remember that. Absolutely. And so this is Lynn Pender, one of several <laughs> authors that are so excited about you joining us on April 15th. And just want to encourage you, visit us online at www.christianauthorsontour.com or give us a call at 800-929-1418. Thank you so much.